What's up everyone? Uh, we're trying to uh, do the overhead uh, valve adjustment and um, I will be attempting to do it myself and my dad on the camera uh, to make it better uh, view for you but so far like when we opened the overhead uh, valve and we saw that uh, we saw that there's already a lineup for the 4E5 Again. Um, you can see right here it lining up right in the middle it's like almost at the middle and 4E5 means like a fourth cylinder like one two three four uh, intake and injector and for the five is the exhaust and the engine brake but before we do that uh, we need to remove all these uh, metal pieces so that's what I'm gonna do for now and for that you're gonna need uh, a hexagon style uh, tool to unscrew it right. and and this will just continue like over and over so in order to um, rotate the cylinders like to the right spot where you need to adjust um, you have to go underneath and you need the uh, tool like this and this tool will go to the spot uh, where your uh, oil pr reservoir or the bottom of the oil uh, and your uh, transmission connection and it's gonna be on the passenger side uh, mine was fully covered with dirt so I had to clean this off and used a flathead uh, screw driver and got this cap off and it was also like fully covered with dirt and you take this um, tool and then you slowly I need to clear this off and you slowly put it in there and when you putting it in it will click yeah see so it's like almost all the way in and you need half of an inch wrench uh, to set it and for us we're gonna put that in and use our long wrench so my dad like can easily turn it from this side but probably this plastic is gonna be on the way so I'm gonna try it out so this is how we had the setup. Our wrench was long enough to make that go. As you can see, my dad is uh, yeah, video go on. My dad is rotating uh, the engine, and it's slowly coming to the two E one. And we have to aim right in the middle of these two lines. Uh-huh. 
Stop. Yet Kelik. Yet one is the for the first one, and the E three is the exhaust three um, with the engine brake. And right now I have to loosen up the uh, injector because I have this uh, socket ready to go. Um, and we empty that out. All in club. And next is the intake. Instagram or whatever that's called T something torque um, and uh, we need the clearance so for the clearance my engine um, manual said that it's 0 0.2 millimeters uh, it's right here um, and I put it like right between the between these I don't know if, you, if they can see it. It's right here. As you can see, like it's way too free, uh, free movement. And more you tighten the top, like tighter it gets. As you can see like it's getting like more harder so basically like the top and bottom like should touch um, when you're making these uh, movements and it feels like the right amount and now I, I will just tighten the top Have the 916th wrench and with the 916th just tighten this guy up and we have this wrench uh, the torque wrench um, for the 35 uh, 38 pounds and the clearance didn't change it still has like that uh, rough moment not like rough rough but you're gonna feel it when you make the moves so now I have the 38 pounds fixed and I need to switch that so 38 pounds And as you can see, like the clearance didn't change. It still has the uh, movement where it touches the top and bottom, like the little bit of tightness, like not too much. There you go. For the injector, we're gonna need to loosen it up all the way. And with my tip of my hand, Tighten it like till the end, and now we need to count the the flat side four times. So one, two, three, and four, and that will do for our injector. The two hundred forty degrees, something like that or four flats. And now we tighten this 38 pounds. There you go. And now we have the E3 
means the the third cylinder like exhaust cylinder exhaust and the engine brake and my manual says it's a one millimeter and I check the clearance first like to see what I need to fix because I found that like some of them were the right amount of clearance so as you can see the one millimeter goes like tight enough but still has movement no, not one. and I, I just like made this whole setup like together like to get the two and a half millimeters and I insert that to the engine brake like to this roller and it needs to have the clear movements mm. and on my side is 1.1 millimeter so that's why like I'm not concerned uh, being too tight um, because in one millimeter like it's gonna have like much better like flow so it's good and the engine side like as you can see like movements it's two and a half millimeters so like it looks a little bit loose so we need to tighten it a little bit Sound like one off or not. 